Now, Nigeria's tourism industry holds many promises, as, even as it largely remains untapped. It is a gold mine, and fixing and growing it could create a massive employment across the country. Despite the raging pandemic, Nigeria's tourism industry is projected to become a huge money spinner for the economy in years to come. But how can this potential be harnessed? Joining me in the studio to discuss this is Nigerian documentary photographer, cultural anthropologist, author, and CEO, DAP Gallery, Dayo Adedayo. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Oh, good morning. Like we ha have pointed out, Nigeria's uh, tourism industry is an untapped gold mine. But with the pandemic, uh, this same industry is said to be the worst hit uh, across the world and not just in Nigeria. And it also produ uh, 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 promotes or produces uh, an opportunity, despite the fact that it was was hit. What are the opportunities, first of all, that uh, this has uh, you know, brought to the fore, especially with the pandemic? How do we explore it? Uh, thank you for having me, and good morning once good again. Morning. Uh, this is the best opportunity for us in Nigeria and Africa, but I will concentrate on Nigeria. One. We have the Black Lives Matters in America now. The blacks in diaspora are actually tired. They don't have anywhere else to go to. You know, my take is, uh, and this is the time to start planning. We have to be very creative about it, mm. you know. And what do we have to do? One is security, which you've just discussed with the previous guest before me. And community policing, Absolutely. right? Because when there is security, when there is peace, that is where money, wherever there is peace, that is where money goes to, mm. you know? Security, infrastructures in place, and most importantly, education. We need to fix our educational sector. And without education, there is no way the taxi man will know that a foreigner or someone from another state, because my own take is let's even start with domestic tourism mm. before even inviting anybody from outside the country. 200 million people is a gold mine because we have the numbers. We are talking of insecurity, we are talking of unemployment. Tourism is the largest employer of labor anywhere but, in the but world. But it seems the government is not looking in this direction. I, I wonder why, because even a lot of Nigerians are wondering why, especially in its approach to uh, developing the sector. Um, it, it is not far-fetched. One, no disrespect, we are not that creative in this country. You know, we, we are a monoproduct people. Once you see someone selling Akara by the roadside, and people are buying Akara. Everybody tends to gyrate towards selling Akara. So it is the private sector that is actually making this country to work. I mean, for example, would you compare TVC with NTA? Mm. Government have no business being in business. Mm -hmm. So for me, what they just do, or they just have to do, is to make sure that they have security in place, there is peace in the country, and namely environment, infrastructures in place, because I want to move from here to say Sokoto now. The roads should be okay, I can drive at any time of the night. And that, those are the things that government has to put in place. And we, the citizens, this is the time for people, and younger people that think there is nothing happening in the country for now. There was a list released on Monday. The richest people in America, before COVID and during this COVID, the average person, I think, is wealth went up as far as about 40%. Mm. You know, so this is the time for us to be creative, look into things that can make us blow. And that is the, the, the point I'm going to uh, be addressing now, because you have traveled the length and breadth of this country that has brought you so much uh, international recognition and some of your works uh, right in front of us here. Talk to us about creativity, how you have been able to sustain that to achieve what you have so far so that others who are watching can learn. One is don't follow the crowd mm. because um, following the crowd might make you not see things. 
and uh, be contented with whatever you have. The sun cannot compete with the moon. That is, that is my ethos. You know, I'm a photographer. I'll be a photographer for the rest of my life. And in terms of creativity, this is the best time to make money in Nigeria. The opportunities are there. All you need to do, sit back or drive around wherever you live. There is no reason for you to be in Lagos, Abuja, Kano, Portaco, because the competition is just too much. You can just be in one village and be producing things. There are things that we lack at the moment. Food, there isn't enough food. The, the cost of food is just going up. So you can just go back to the farm. But to talk about my industry, we've not started photography in Nigeria. Really? No, 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 we've, we've not. We've not even touched it. We've not started photography in Nigeria, and that's the truth. And in terms of that, there are several things that still needs to be photographed. Okay, I'll give you a very good example because it looked bemused to say when I said we haven't started photography yeah. in Nigeria. Do we have book on tribal marks, for example? It's fading. Imagine the first photographer to come out with a pictorial book on tribal marks. It will sell like hot cake. Yeah, no, I can't be divulging things just like oh, that's wow. just an example. And I have <laughs> you know, that's just an example. Wow. We, we, we've not started because we've not actually documented mm. our civilization. Because, okay, we are talking about tourism now. Yes. The West sold us summer. For us living in the sun, to come and holiday in the sun again, and my people troop out to go to the sun. Mm. So what stops us, the federal government, to say, let's start celebrating rainy season. Right. In the Niger Delta, it rains virtually throughout the year. And during the month of July to September, it's like everyone is falling. One aspect I would love to quickly touch on and want you to comment on is the aspect of technology. How far we have gone with exploring technology because with regards to tourism, are, are we, have we scratched the surface yet? Now I would say the younger generation, you might say the education is poor, but in terms of creativity and technology, they are far ahead of us. Oh, wow. We have several young photographers now who are using social media technology to show things, to push the narratives out. Okay. And that is one thing the Nigerian Tourism Development Corporation is doing, NTDC, with Tour Nigeria on right. social media. They are pushing out those things, those places that we've never seen before. All right. And um, in no time, all that government needs to do is just to put the security and infrastructures into place. Okay. You know, the, the we, we, we I just feel like being in an event where I am going to introduce you to come on stage. So I can reel out and reel out and reel out. But really, it's nice to see you. Yeah, good and to see you. Uh, good to have you in the studio again. Thank you. Mark. Great. Now, let me start by uh, talking about this. Now, when we talk about tourism as a business, or the need to see it as a business, who are we talking to? Is it the government who should create or invest, or is it the public sector, or is it the avid Nigerian who needs to spend more in, in, you know, in recreation? Uh, we should be talking to the average Nigerian. Okay. One, it starts with civic studies in primary schools up to secondary school, because governments have no business in business. Hmm. So, uh, because we're talking of unemployment, we're talking about our economy not doing very well. And the easiest way for us to get out of it is tourism. Which most of the places we're talking about in this country has been there before us. And they'll be there long after us. Mm. So to me, it starts with the little guy that finished art school, start to paint anything, start selling. You can mold anything and sell fridge magnets, you know, there's several things we can do. I mean, we are in Lagos. Ojota is there, where they used to shoot gun. That spot, I want to see that spot, mm. you know? And the significance the of it. The significance mm. of it. And the most spectacular one inside Lagos is just by the five carry bridge, where you see the lagoon mm. meeting the ocean. We just drive past it, and nobody even cares about it. I'm 100% sure if that is to be in the West, 
you will be seeing thousands and thousands of people going there every day to take pictures to look at it. You know? so, so something has to change about our culture. Because an average Nigerian uh, doesn't feel like, you know, when it comes to going on vacation sometimes, in fact, like in the office where you, you're talking to people, please go on leave, everybody go on leave, and all of that. That feeling of, I need to rest, I need to recreate, I need to travel to see new things, you know, travel out of town. Uh, an average Nigerian is still thinking of how to survive. He's an African. We don't, we don't do talk. Hmm. In Africa, we don't. It's not part of our culture. Uh, so I'm still looking for the word in Yoruba because if a word is not in your language, yeah. that means that word, that, that exactly. thing is foreign. <laughs> so we don't talk. You know, we celebrate, but we don't leave our village to go to the next village on tourism. But we do festivals. We have Beautiful. 774 local governments in Nigeria, and the 774 local governments has over 1,000 festivals. Whoa. That alone in itself. I watched a video yesterday by Jeffrey Daniel okay. of Shalama. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, his birthday was on the 24th, and he said he didn't have time to send, to respond to anybody, that's, I mean, to the people that sent him messages for his birthday. What happened? He said he gave birth to a new baby, and he was talking glowingly. It was a five minutes video. Okay. It was talking glowingly about the culture of Nigeria that you don't know the name of the child until after seven days. Hmm. But he already knows the name of the child, exactly. but he cannot say it. Mm. Whereas in the West, it's immediate. Mm. I mean, look at how insignificant that is to us. Mm. But to someone who is foreign, he's in Abuja to, I mean, he lives in Abuja and are married to a Nigerian. Mm. So you, you can see how interesting exactly. what we have that we don't project, and if you don't advertise your illness, you will never find a cure for it. All right, let, let's get into, I, I, have, I have one of your books here, interesting. Now, guys, I am the only one who is going to enjoy, maybe you can see from here. Now, this is, this is the bean cake, right? Is it uh, the bean cake or buns? No, no, this is robo. This is made from melon. I melon? Yes. But this, is, but this is basically what is fried by the roadside sometimes that we see. You, you see the packaging here. I am hungry already. I'm salivating from what you're seeing on this paper, <laughs> on this on this catalog right now. Really interesting. And there are so many, and there are so many of this kind of. You see, you see this. This is so amazing. This is really just so. There's so many pictures in here. Oh, sorry. Let me not. Uh, but Dario, let me let me let's talk about the issue of packaging here and the sale. This is cola nuts. Oh my God. You guys need to see this. You need to see this. Cola nuts. Cola nuts that we underrate sometimes. Now, talk to us about packaging, marketing, and selling. How far from the standards or the benchmarks are we? Because that, that, is, that is part of what we should be doing now. Yeah, right. And that is what you're doing with this. Um, may the soul of the late Dora Quinley rest in peace. Mm. She started the campaign at, uh, what is it called? The Change Begins. Yes, Meet. exactly. You know, so let's start with TVC. I'm looking at the picture of where is this? This is not Nigeria. So your image is what you have on your walls. Yeah. Let it be. You have millions and millions of people watching you. Let people see what we have. Because we don't advertise ourselves. You know, most people in the West or out of Africa believe we still live on trees. We are no different from And monkeys. in caves. <laughs> Absolutely. So let them see our civilization. But who, who will start that really? It's me and you. Okay. Nobody is paying me to do this. Mm. I'm doing this myself. And in the process, if I make money, money is secondary. Even though that was the primary objective. Yeah, of course. But, but yeah. if I make money, so be it. But what we are trying to say is, let's start Do These are opportunities for anybody. Nobody is stopping you mm. from doing anything you want to do. Like I said earlier on, face mask is there. I mean, tribal mask is there for you to yeah, do. Exactly. Even face mask. Because we're not going to experience this pandemic in our lifetime again. Hmm. Why not document it and put it back? Coming back to tourism, there are several things. Houses, our food, our clothes, hmm. our festivals. These are I, things I, that need to be talking documented. Talking about clothes, now I saw, I saw Adire. This is Adire, right? That's right, that's Adire. Adire. That's yeah. this in Ogun. In Ogun fact, State. the whole of this catalog is about the Ogun beauties State. of Ogun State. Yeah, that's Ogun State. That's wow. And this the, is, and this the is cover amazing. of the book. Yeah, I got inspiration for the cover. The cover? 
from Wyoming, this, United States. This, 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 this is this is Ogun State. That's Ogun State. Whoa. I this call is this so beautiful. highway to heaven. During low cloud, the cloud will be touching those trees. So it's like so that road is there. going. Yeah, it will be like that road is going straight into heaven. Wow. You know, we have all these things, amazing wow. beauty across the this country. Is amazing. And this is our civilization. We need to project. We need to calm down and go around the country. Dayo, Dayo, I think, I think I need to create time for us to talk more on all of this so we can showcase these things and other platforms as well. Thank you so much. This is the much time can permit us right now, but we thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Always glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.